To begin the disassembly of your HTC Inspire 4G or Desire HD, you will first need to remove the battery panel door. Using your fingernail or a safe open pry tool, pop it right off. Next, you will need to take out the battery, which may require a little bit of force as it is wedged into the actual brackets of the phone. With the battery remo removed, use a nylon spudger or safe open pry tool, stick it inside of the battery opening, and push up on the camera lens diffuser bracket. Once it has popped up enough, use a safe open pry tool to go ahead and release that bracket from the back housing of your phone. Next, you will need to remove the cover from the bottom of your phone. Once that is removed, you will now need to release the FPC cover. It is held on with adhesive as well as the volume button flex cable ribbon. Be careful pulling this off as you do not want to tear this ribbon. Once this is done, you will need to use a Torx 5 screwdriver to release 5 screws as shown in the video here. Once these five screws are removed, you can go ahead and release the back housing bezel from your phone. Next, you are going to need to remove three Torx 5 screws on the bottom of the phone. These three screws hold a plastic bracket in place that will need to be removed. Next, using a pair of tweezers, remove the tape as shown in this video. The tape towards the left side covers your LCD flex cable ribbon. Once that is removed, use a safe open pry tool to pop this ribbon up. Next, you will need to use your Torx 5 screwdriver to remove the following two screws as shown here. Once that is done, you are going to remove a black plastic adhesive shield covering a portion of your motherboard. Now you can go ahead and remove the cable frame from the back of the board. Next, using a nylon spudger or safe open pry tool, go ahead and release the speaker from the back assembly and remove one Phillips double zero size screw placed underneath the speaker. With all the screws from the board now released, you can go ahead and release the motherboard from the LCD digitizer panel assembly. Be careful, as the motherboard is held in with some adhesive underneath it, so you will need to carefully pry it up. In addition to the motherboard, you will need to release the ear speaker from the back assembly housing as well.
With the digitizer and LCD housing assembly separated from your motherboard, you will take a guitar pick or safe open pry tool and run it along the sides. Be very careful not to damage the actual housing as it can easily break. In addition to this, the LCD panel is actually very sensitive and can also break easily if you are not careful during this process. If you are having a hard time removing the LCD touchscreen digitizer from the housing assembly, use a hot air heat gun or a blow dryer to loosen up the adhesive around the sides as well as back of the phone. If you are only going to be separating just the digitizer or the LCD assembly, you will need to follow the steps here. You will need to release the Kapton tape of the back of your LCD housing assembly. And once that is completed, you will need to go ahead and push up on the jawbone connector, releasing your touch screen glass digitizer flex cable. Please note, once this is done, you still will need to separate the LCD from the touch screen glass digitizer panel. To do this, you will remove the tape shown here on the back sides of the phone. This is an adhesive. You will also heat up the front panel of your phone releasing the adhesive around the sides and use a safe open pry tool to separate your touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD. Once they are separated you can go ahead and change out your touchscreen glass digitizer and or LCD display panel on your HTC Inspire 4G. Thank you.